Hello and welcome. In this video I will show a little short experiment how you can create cold from just energy input. Now I'm, what I'm using is the dripping down effect which is dripping water over something, right? Um, and here's the room. It's about 20 degrees in there. Uh, the water in the pipes is about 10 degrees and uh, the liquid is uh, 25 degrees. The interesting thing about this room is it had the same temperature as here when I started quite a few cycles back, right? So what I wanted to experiment with here was the dripping down in a closed environment. So uh, the, the, the thing is, right, I, I was unsure how exactly how it worked. I knew it worked, right? But I was a bit afraid as well that the reason it, it cooled down was that it, uh, it spread really evenly out the temperature like so 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 well so you actually didn't see that it was actually maintaining temperature right so i really wanted to do in a closed off environment so i was afraid it was pretty much spreading to all the areas around you just in small small parts right so everything here is um, absolute right although i'm not going to show everyone you can just recreate this experiment if you if you want to test it right um and I, I wanted to know exactly how the dripping down effect worked, right? So I did I did a test here, both in vacuum and without vacuum, where I just was dripping stuff, right? Into like liquid, into liquid pretty much, right? And th it has no effect whatsoever. It just maintained the same temperature, right? Um, here, what I did instead was an aqua tuner that colds, colds the water, cools the water. Uh, so I pump it up, cool the water. Then I pump it around in the air to cool the air down. Then I drip it down over this one. So part of it kind of flows back down here and part over this one, right? It was actually supposed to only drip from, from this one, uh, but I forgot this valve open, right? From previous failed experiment, right? But it doesn't really matter. Um, now this can be like improved a lot, like when it comes to efficiency, it's more like proof of concept, right? So what I discovered with this one is it's, the, the dripping down effect is only only works when it's dripped down over hot machinery. So the way it works, and maybe this was common knowledge, I don't know, but I knew, didn't know exactly how it works, right? So the dripping down effect is when it drips over hot machinery, it, it cools the machinery uh, more than the water is heated up. So that's that's the whole dripping down effect, right? Uh, and, and the effect is a net cooling system. So for example, like um, I saw a discussion about this machinery here and someone talking about like the oil dripping down over the oil in here from, from the slickstus is, is cooling the tank. That's not true. What's cooling the tank is the inflow of cold carbon dioxide at 20 degrees, right? That's what's cooling. This dripping down, at least from my experiments in, in closed in environments, has nothing to do with it. That's doesn't cool anything at all. Right, so the only way it, it works is dripping down the hot machinery. The, the interesting thing about this is, is that if you just have enough energy, you can pretty much cool anything, right? And I guess if you use something else, the water like oil that has a higher terminal conductivity, you will get a bit much higher net effect, right? So I could keep this running for, I'm gonna keep this running until it freezes, right? Uh, but you can see it, well, it's very slowly ticking down, right? So, uh, 7.8, so. Anyway, uh, the layout is like this, so really simple. And just absolute all around. All right, thanks for watching, cheers.